Welcome back ladies and gentlemen and now I want us to move on to section 7 and uh, within section 7 we will be sourcing our visuals from external uh, sources or from the Power BI App Store and for you to have uh, an account rather for you to outsource our visuals from Power BI App Store you must have an account you must have a Power BI account and again, for you to have a Power BI account, you must have an organizational email ID or a corporate email ID. And then within the Power BI App Store, there are quite a number of visuals. So I've just sampled uh, five. So we'll have to we'll have a look at uh, how the five uh, visuals uh, can be presented in our in our charts or in our Power BI desktop and then let me just take you to a BI desktop and then for you to outsource the, the visual we just come and click down here on uh, these three, uh, three dots and then we'll click on get more visuals And that uh, will take you to Power BI Visuals. And this what I was calling Power BI App Store. So here is where we have quite a number of uh, visuals. But you can only choose uh, what you want. So I wanted uh, Donut Deal. So here we'll just write uh, Donut, which it will give me quite a number of options. But I'll just choose uh, what I want. So me, I want this one for advanced to not visual light edition. So we'll uh, add this one. And then uh, it's been uh, imported successfully. So I'll click OK. And then the visual icon is here. So I'll click on this uh, icon for do not uh, drill through. So let me try to resize it. And then here now let me try let me drag category and drop under category and then I will drag sub category and drop under category then I will drag sales amount and drop under values so here already we have our uh, uh I do not chart but it's uh do not chart that we can deal through so here when I click on uh, bikes can see it's giving me the subcategory of bikes and when I click at the center it takes me back to the category and when I click uh, accessories you can see it, it it gives us the details of the subcategories of uh, accessories so when I want to go back to category I will click at the center here and then now let me try to create another chart the different field and with the different hierarchy so i'll click on this uh, icon again then today we'll take country and drop on the field so my the, the, the field for country they will be the highest hierarchy within our field and then i will also drag uh, category and drop on the field and then I will drag a uh, subcategory and drop under field also. Then here now I can use any numerical field depending on what I want to analyze. But I will drag select some amount and drop under values. So here when I click on uh, the country of the uh, United States, you can see within that country we are selling bikes and accessories and clothing. And then again when I click on uh, bikes you can see now we have our road bikes we have touring bikes and we have mountain bikes and then i can just click again the center to go back to uh, category then again i can click back and go back to country then now I can click on uh, uk and then uk we are selling the three categories of our uh, 
items for selling accessories clothing and uh, bikes or other you're selling yes clothing accessories and bikes and then when i click on accessories you can see what we are selling within uh, the country of the uk a subcategory of accessories so ladies and gentlemen this is how to work with the uh, uh donut drill through or donut chat zoom and i hope you understood so let's meet again on the next video